So recuperative care is one of our core competencies. And basically recuperative care is a venue or a location where individuals are discharged from the hospitals and they come to us to number one, recuperate, but also to be connected to services that would take them months and years to actually access. We help them get back on their feet all the while while they're resting and recovering from their illnesses. Recuperative care meets this mission and the demand for what is our most vulnerable population, somebody who is homeless and sick. When we started looking at the areas that were um, most expensive, most costly, most inefficient, it was pretty easy to see that the medical area was one of the biggest um, violators of fiscal responsibility and how they really didn't understand homelessness and how many times people were appearing at their ERs and actually what they needed. We knew that we could take care of the homeless individuals better, um, more cost effectively, and with better outcomes than the hospital could. Uh, many of the studies that we produced and many of the pilot programs have bore that out that the cost savings on 38 people are as high as $12 million and continues to grow because individuals are housed and they're not re-entering um, the ER. One of the biggest deficits in Orange County is housing. With 2% vacancy, it's extremely difficult for our population to access housing and then stay in housing. One of the innovative approaches um, that we found were micro communities. And basically what a micro community is a five to six bedroom family house that will accommodate five or six of our clients. One of the collateral benefits that we immediately saw was um, social integration. In other words, when we moved five people that were in recuperative programs or five people that had come from the Riverbed or Civic Center, we found out they had their own community. Their community was themselves. We started micro communities about a year and a half ago. We currently have eight to 10 um, actual houses, um, which house anywhere from 80 to 100 individuals. And we found that we could deliver services in those micro communities as efficiently as we can in recuperative care. We can have micro communities up throughout Orange County. As many as 50 is our goal for this next fiscal year, and that will accommodate uh, five to six individuals in each house. Do I want a micro community in my neighborhood? My answer is yes. Our clients that move in there, number one, normally don't drive, so they don't have cars parked in the parking lot. Our clients are normally in bed by nine or 10. Our clients have worked with the team, so they're working with six other individuals that they get along with. And most importantly, they have supportive services that not only check on them once a week, but also do services within the house. Having a micro community next to your house, we argue actually enhances your neighborhood. It integrates um, our clients back into society and makes them a vital part of your community. Um, not only are you helping being a solution, you're getting some great neighbors. We see that as a really innovative way to answer the call um, for the shortage of housing.